taste of French cuisine is on our menu today. And here to share that dish in the CI Kitchen from the University of Illinois, student chef Jackie Quintero joins us. Welcome, Jackie. Welcome back, I should Thank say. Thank you. Was it that long ago you were here talking about your spice box meal? How'd yep. that go? It went really well. I was really happy with how everything turned out, and I'm glad that... Also sad that it's over, but oh, wow. also glad. Yeah, because yours was the whole princess Disney theme yep. there that we had going on. So um, now this meal that you're helping us out with today, is it's got kind of a little twist to it. Yes. So this meal is actually not one of our seniors. It's Chef Carter's and Chef Johnny's meal. They created the whole menu. And it's very interesting because we've never had a meal that highlights uh, the help that we have in our kitchen. So it's going to be very interesting, and I'm looking, I'm very excited for this meal because they get to showcase what they usually don't get to do. And so they're not students? No. Okay. They, they work for the university. And oh. the theme is France? Yes, Provence, France in Provence. particular. Have you been there? I have not, maybe but I then. should. I think we should go for research purposes. Yes. <laughs> get that worked out. Well, and maybe this will be our inspiration to get us there. So what are we making? So we're making French macaroons, not the coconut and chocolate ones that most people are very used to when they think of macaroons. So French macaroons, they're still a type of cookie, but they're made with almond flour and um, egg whites. Oh, okay. Hey, it doesn't feel like like we can make much out of what's in front of us so you're gonna have to so uh, start describing how this works we have uh, confectionate sugar almond flour sugar um, cream of tartar and then egg whites okay Ooh, okay so first we're gonna do is we're gonna sift our almond flour if you want to hold that over for sure. me. sure we're gonna sift our almond flour into the confectionate sugar so I'm you actually call them trying to get it to go through there yeah so you got this you, just you call them macaroons I thought they were so fancy, like macarons. So I think with an accent, they're, they're more like that. <laughs> Everything sounds fancier you know? with an accent. Yes, it does. It's I like everybody looks smarter with glasses. It's just how it is. I love Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks I'm smart. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Smart sounding, at least. I, I know you're that. smart. So once we get all of this in here. Do you want me to help with the spatula? Yeah, Because there's perfect. some kind of chunks there. Tim and I are a good team. Yes, <laughs> yes. you guys are. See? Hold this. And then, so <laughs> normally while you guys are doing that, I would whip up the egg whites, oh. but I forgot a bowl today, so I'm so sorry. Oh, oh Jack! I know. Man. Jeez. <laughs> so with the egg whites, what you do is you will mix them with your regular at-home like beater, and you'll get them uh, just until foamy, and then that's when you add in your sugar and your cream of tartar. Okay. And then you keep mixing until firm peaks, which is when the mixture gets really thick and you pull out the beaters and there's like a little point that goes up and it doesn't <laughs> move did. over. <laughs> well, she forgot the bowl. That's true. <laughs> if the chef forgets the bowl, you can do whatever you okay. want with the sifter. But I do want to show off this pan though because they can't oh. really see and appreciate how it's like kind of a cheat sheet here. Yeah. Because you do want them to be circles. Yes. So you pipe it in this bag and make a circle? Yeah. So what we did here was uh, we kind of just got like a bottle cap from like a milk gallon and yeah. we traced it with Sharpie. And then just so that we can save this, we put another one on top. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. We put another one on top so oh. that way we can reuse a bottom one. And Look at then you. So efficient. We can start piping. Our, so the mixture That's ends what up, it would look like? Yes, this is okay. what it ends up looking like once your egg whites get to soft peaks and then you fold in your almond flour and confectioner sugar properly mixture. sifted. Maybe. <laughs> is it going to be gray? Or? So uh, we added a little bit of food coloring in it. Uh, you can add in whichever okay. color you'd like. Hmm. Uh, theirs are going to be purple because... So with the macaroons are going a lavender flavored creme brulee. Oh, Sweet. Can you pipe one here before Didn't we run out of time? Yeah, of was a thing, but I suppose oh, it is. Yeah. So we're gonna do. Huge. We're gonna start from the outside in, just so that we get that perfect circle. And, and what are the consistency of these gonna be like once they're once they're done? Are they like a, a cookie? Try. Yeah, kind of sure. A, a crispy. Yeah, so they'll be a little bit crispy, and actually, these have to sit for about 30 minutes. Okay. And until they're, you're able to press down on it, and the mixture doesn't stick to your fingers. Ah. Here, Perfect. Let me give that a shot while we're getting out yeah, of this. Yeah, you guys are pro. Well, no, I haven't gone yet. Please hold on. <laughs> Not gonna lie, they kind of look like little mini dog poos, Jackie. <laughs> so actually, what a dog do you have? <laughs> 
Once they're, uh, once you let them sit for 30 minutes, you can actually <laughs> press it down and make them smoother. Oh. What? If you my dog did that, that, I would be <laughs> right going to the vet. <laughs> So our color's a little bit off. We could have added just a little bit more purple. Maybe. Uh, so if you decide to make these at home, you can add in whichever food coloring yeah. you'd like. Well, we're gonna try these, we I are. believe, a little later on this hour. And if you want the complete recipe, we have that for you. CILiving.tv is where you will go. We'll be back.